By which of the favors of your Lord, which of the favors of your Lord do you deny? And I think this is a, a sort of an issue for us all to reflect on. And I know we all have things to complain about, such as the complaint, that, or other things that we can complain about, right? Many, many things. We have lots of things every day that things go on that are wrong or in our view or they're not according to what we really want ideally but do we really know what's ideal we don't we think we know based on our own calculations but I think the ayah here it sort of calls us to reflect to reflect on which of the favors of your Lord you deny. Doesn't, didn't he give you enough? More than enough? More than you ever thought? More than you ever asked for? He did. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I think it's a call to be thankful, to be honest with you. And maybe that's why Allah Azza wa Jal started the surah with Ar-Rahman, the All-Merciful. Right? Look at that. The All Merciful, Ar Rahman, and then everything of it, what? As if He's reminding you, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman, which of the favors of your Lord, which of Ar favors of Ar Rahman you deny? Which of the favors of Ar Rahman you deny? Which of the favors of Ar Rahman you deny? And it's repeated and repeated and repeated, and sometimes I think we need that repeat. Because we forget. And I think we all have a lot to thank for. Among it is just the mere fact that we are witnessing this one. That's, that's something to thank for. That's something to be grateful for. Uh, that we're still breathing and we can thank Allah. We can still give sadaqah today. We can still give a word that's good. We can still do a good action. We can still pray two more rakah. We can still do a few things. Lots of people can't do that. Which of the favors of your Lord you deny? And I think that's a call for Ramadan. We have only a few days left. I know. I don't know. Every year we say the same thing. How did Ramadan go so fast? I don't know. I don't know if Ramadan is going fast or we simply are, the barakah is removed from our time, from our money from our lives, from our families, from our, what we do. We have so much quantity, but barakah is not that much. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal in this blessed month that is, because barakah means lots of good. It doesn't have to do with the numbers. It's lots of good within the numbers. It makes the numbers suffice. It makes the numbers, it, barakah makes you happy and content. Numbers don't make you necessarily happy or content. But Barakah does. Uh, so we ask Allah Azza wa in this month of Barakah to put Barakah in our lives. In our deeds that we're doing, in our Siyam, in our Qiyam, I, you know, sometimes we say, SubhanAllah, how Maghrib is coming fast. And it's almost effortless. I, you know, I, it's almost effortless. 
Uh, the old ways of uh, offering iftar to, uh, to people who are fasting. Also, that's receding lately. Uh, among the akhbar of the Salaf, Ubaidullah bin Abbas, the brother of Abdullah bin Abbas, used to put in front of his home in Ramadan a, a whole thing for people on the street to come and eat. And things were, it, it was, it's sharing the moment, sharing the love, sharing the giving. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Ibn Abbas is Sahih Bukhari, Kana Ajwad al Nas. He was the most generous of people, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's not about the quantity. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, gave whatever he could. But it was the barakah in that which is given. It was given with love. It was the barakah, it's the sharing. And I think today we want to ask Allah Azza wa Jal when He asks us, Fabi'ayi alayhi rabbikuma tu kadiban. Which of the favors of your, of your Lord, Ar Rahman, you deny. I think we need to be, uh, take a moment today, maybe tonight especially, maybe one of the nights, and say, Ya Allah, we do not deny any of your favors. We acknowledge, in fact, that we are so short in recognizing your favors, number one. We have been blinded by our selfishness to recognize your favors. And we have been so short in actually being grateful to your favors. So thank you, Ya Allah, in a way that we cannot thank you. And that's, I don't know what to say. I, I think the Prophet ﷺ put it in a way that I could not put. He says, Subhanaka, la uhsi thana an alayk, anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. So glory to you, O Allah. I cannot thank you or praise you the way you thanked and praised yourself. So may Allah Azza wa Jal be thanked for all the things that He gave us that we know and the things that He gave us that we don't know. And may Allah Azza wa Jal put barakah in the rest of the days in Ramadan, the rest of the days in your lives. May Allah turn it into a, a, a lives of barakah. Your children, Allah Ta'ala put barakah in them. Your families, your wealth, your ilm, your works. Whatever you do, inshallah, Allah put the barakah around. And may Allah Azza wa Jal make us a source of barakah for others.